Hey, I'm Tyler Wild here again with Dr. Caitlin McGee, a physical therapist who has been helping us talk about ergonomics on PC Gamer. And one question I wanted to ask you is about lumbar support in chairs. It's kind of a word that comes up when you're looking for a chair to buy. Some chairs have built-in support. Other chairs just sort of come with a pillow that kind of straps around the backrest or you could buy a lumbar support pillow and add it to your chair. But, you know, it doesn't seem potentially as good as something that's built in just because intuitively, I don't know, something built in seems better. Um, but maybe that's completely wrong. So I wanted to get your opinion on lumbar support pillows, whether it's good to use them, whether they can help you be more comfortable. Sure. Um, and unsurprisingly to anybody who's read any of the other articles or listened to any of these other videos, my answer is going to start with an it depends. Uh, the it depends of lumbar pillows very much depends on your personal anatomy um, and your personal posture. Um, and to some extent, it'll depend on whether you've got already built-in support uh, because adding a pillow on top of built-in support often is unnecessary. We're going to rewind a little bit. We're going to talk a bit about anatomy first. Um, so the lumbar spine has what's called a lordotic curve, which means it curves inwards towards your belly button, as opposed to your thoracic spine, the kind of mid and upper back, which has a kyphotic curve going the other way. And then the cervical spine on top of that also goes lordotically. So you make this big, nice, curvy spine shape. There should be a little bit of inward curve of your lumbar spine, which means if you've just got a flat chair, you've got this gap here. Um, most of the time when you've got a gap here, your body's like, I don't like this, I'm unsupported, and you try and find a way to support it. Um, and for a lot of us, that's in the form of slumping down against our chair, um, sitting back and slouching a little bit more, which can feel like a nice stretch intermittently on your back. But in the long term, reversing that lordotic curve, going from that inward curve to an outward curve, is a lot of strain on your back. And it's not something that you want to be doing for a long period of time. So sometimes uh, if your chair does not provide adequate support in and of itself, it might be helpful to fill that space with a lumbar support pillow. I've absolutely seen people use, you know, the fancy memory foam ones and had great results with those. I've seen people fold up a towel to provide that degree of support and had great results with that too. I may or may not have been one of the people who in college folded up a towel to make a lumbar support pillow for myself because I was a broke college student. You don't have to go out and buy a fancy pillow in order to have good lumbar support. And a lot of the time, the pillows that come with chairs, especially with gaming chairs, are so thick as to force you into an excessive lordotic curve, which is just as uncomfortable and just as not great for your back as having a reversal of your lordotic curve. Um, so again, as we discussed in some previous videos, the best way to figure out whether you need a lumbar support pillow or not is get yourself in a good postural position, figure out if there's a gap between your back and your chair or not, um, and then make sure that you build into that space accordingly if it's there, um, rather than relying on kind of what by default comes with the chair. Um, it's even better if, if it's built into the chair, if it's adjustable. Um, you don't have to get a chair with built-in lumbar support to have good ergonomics, but if you're going to get a chair and one of its points of adjustability is you can adjust the height or the amount of the lumbar support, that is excellent, that is fantastic, and it gets a thumbs up from me.